And Jesus NF, like take it easy on yourself, bro. <laughs> Keep up to date with all the videos. Uh, today, we are going to get into Nate. I have not heard the song. It's been highly requested. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, the last one we did was Options. That's a banger. I've been jamming to that. I jammed to that all day yesterday. And then today, I woke up this morning and started jamming to the Options, man. I, that, the more and more I listen to that song, man, I, the more and more I get hyped. It's, it's awesome, man. Like it, It's kind of cool. A lot of his songs don't get old. So, you know, it's, it's kind of nice that... Um, you know, uh, you can listen to a lot of his songs over and over. It's really cool. I'm, I'm digging it. All right, either way, let's get into Nate. Let's not waste any more time. Thank you guys for joining again. Big boys, neck meat stuff. Let's go. Uh. I guess this is kind of like chatter in the background. Uh, it sounds like a bunch of people talking or something. I don't know. And then that sounds like a voice, that little, Ooh, that sounds like Nate. Hang on. Yeah, sometimes I want to disappear like I just don't exist. I find a time machine to take me back when I was six. Maybe younger, either way, I guess the point of it would be to tell that little kid that he's going to take a lot of hits. Yeah, I'll probably grab your hand and tell you life is hard. If you got questions or you need advice, and talk to God, because he's the only one that listens, even when you think he isn't. Even good people are great at making bad decisions. Yes, people are. Pe even good people are. I mean, we all make bad decisions. Even good people do, but... He, he referenced back to when he was being six. So maybe he's, I guess he's talking to himself at a younger version of himself, I guess. But he had a lot of good lines to start out right there. But uh, let's go back a little bit. I want to hear some of that more. Back when I was six, maybe younger either way, I guess the point of it would be to tell that little kid that he's going to take a lot of hits. Yeah, he's going to take a lot of hits. And he wish he'd have told him that. Yeah, I mean, you're going to take a lot of hits, man. It's life, dude. It's hard. Yeah, I'll probably grab your hand and tell you life is hard. If you got questions or you need advice, and talk to God. Because he's the only one that listens, even when you think he isn't. Even good people are great at making bad decisions. Yeah, they ain't going to take it serious. You find out pretty quick that life is more than just appearances. I know some things we could avoid to save embarrassment. But everything that breaks you down can also build your character. Because people love to see you fail. Just be aware of it. Damn, Don't let man. nobody tell you who to be a right generic damn he is on one on this one already people always want to see you fail especially if people are like if you're going in the right direction there's always someone there to like get in your way and and kind of bring you down and and it's just it's just crazy how people think like why not build that person up instead of getting i don't know man that that's so true Aware of it. Don't let nobody tell you who to be or write your narrative. Look, we're all products of the things that we experience, but there's a big difference between confidence and arrogance. You hearing yes. this? I know that you don't get it now, but you're gonna get it later. I know you feel like you're alone and no one loves you, maybe, and you gonna cover insecurities with lots of anger. The weird thing is, someday all of this will make you famous. You start to write about your life, and while they're all relating, you'll make damn man. It's oh, golly, he's talking about. You're covering up that insecurities with anger. I mean, a lot of people do that. I've done that before. You know what I mean? Like, and he said the funny thing is it made you famous. He's referring back to him. You know, he's built a career around, you know, the way he feels. And he's just putting it out on the mic. Man, that's, oh, that's deep. But it's so cool. I like that a lot, actually. 
alone and no one loves you, maybe. And you gon' cover insecurities with lots of anger. The weird thing is someday all of this will make you famous. You start to write about your life and while they're all relating, you make up a slogan called the real but feel like you're the fakest. Wish I could tell you that your future's nothing but amazing. That's just not the case and I guess I just don't know how to say this. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but if you can, I just want you to know. You gon' make a lot of mistakes and they gon' laugh in our face. That's part of life, that's just the way that it goes. That's just the way that it goes. And I don't know if you can hear me or not, but if you can, I just need you to get it. I know you've been questioning life, trust me, I know what it's like. I'm here for you if you need someone to listen. You... Damn, he, I mean, he's talking to his, his former self. He's literally in his head talking to himself right here. And that's what's cool, he's painting a picture for us. And he's basically just like, you know... He's he's just wishing he can talk to his younger self. We y'all know how y'all you always like wish you can go back and change something. Like you can go back to like a certain situation and you can go back and just change it and, and do it differently or you know, like me, I was a college baseball player, so you know, I wish I would have worked out my arm more because I had surgery. It ended up hurting you know, it ended up getting surgery. It, it you know, I was a pitcher, so you know, for me I wish I would have done more you know, like exercises with my arm and, and, you know, maybe I would have had a, a better career, but it, that's just a small example of what he's talking about. But I mean, it, it kind of feels like he's saying that to himself in his younger version, which is, which is pretty dang cool. Here for you if you need someone to listen. If you need someone to listen. See, mom and dad are not together. They took different routes. Which you probably already knew you getting older now. Remember back when mom picked us up from grandma's house? And she hit her boyfriend in the trunk and drove a couple miles down the street. And then she pulled what? over to let him out. Cause she didn't want dad to know she had these type of dudes around. Cause last time he found out, he had to take us from her. You look uncomfortable, I'm sorry. Let me change the subject. Yeah, I want to go back to that subject. What was he saying right there? Hang on, he's talking about putting his boy, her boyfriend in the trunk? What? See, mom and dad are not together. They took different routes. Which you probably already knew you getting older now. Remember back when mom picked us up from grandma's house? And she hit her boyfriend in the trunk and drove a couple miles down the street. And then she pulled over to let him out. Because she didn't want dad to know she yeah, had these type of dudes gone. around. Because last time he found out, he had to take us from her. You look uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Let me change the subject. You know how we've always struggled with... Dude. That, that is not cool. That is not cool at all. And then the kids saw it. That is, I mean, come on. That Man, the thing is, man, my mom would never do something like that. I can never picture my mother doing that. Man, that, that's hard, man. That's hard for him. To, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's crazy. If that's true, that's crazy. That is not cool. Subject. You know how we've always struggled with abandonment? Yeah. And when we feel like someone's leaving, we start panicking? Yeah. Hey, y'all, I wish that I could say I've learned to manage it. You think it's bad now, but you don't know the half of it. Passion is something we have never lacked. We see it the most when we're writing raps. They think it's funny now, let them laugh. I know you think it's just an outlet when you're really mad, but you don't know the platform you're about to have. I know some things about the future you ain't ready for. I know some things that you're going to cover up but can't ignore. And what hurts is they gonna surface at the worst moments and we go act like it don't hurt us but it hurts don't it we walk around with the devil talking on both damn dude this one's got me a little bit talking about abandonment issues start panicking when when someone leaves you i mean it's true man like that type of stuff is so true it happened to me when i was younger man it, it you know oh my god this one's getting me man this one's this one's crazy Hmm. It's good though. It's really, really good. Of course. And we go act like it don't hurt us, but it hurts, don't it? We walk around with the devil talking on both shoulders. Wish I could tell you that he disappears when we get older. But that's just not the case. And I know you feel out of place and everything is not okay. And life can be a lot to take. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but if you can, I just want you to know. You gonna make a lot of mistakes and they gonna laugh in our face. That's part of life. That's just the way that it goes. That's just the way that it goes. And I don't know if you can hear me or not, but if you can, I just Hey, this is this song right here is like just another just another example of just being so real and because it's the truth man this stuff is it's it's facts i know a lot of people don't like facts nowadays but this is facts and this is real like to the fullest because 
I just feel like so many people can relate to this exact situation he's talking about. And it, he does it on a lot of his songs. It is insane, the material he comes up with. It's, it's incredible. I just need you to get it. I know you've been questioning life. Trust me, I know what it's like. I'm here for you if you need someone to listen. If you need someone to listen. You know how intoxicated people make us nervous To the point sometimes we shake and it feels so disturbing Don't be scared, that's just trauma trying to reach the surface And tell us everyone we love is gonna try to hurt us Which isn't true, but it's a lie that both of us believe in Yeah, you might get a glimpse of happiness from your achievements But what you'll learn as you get older Every time you reach one Is you'll just make another goal that doesn't lead to freedom See, some things about to happen that you can't imagine At 24, you'll drop an album and you call it mansion At 25, you'll put out therapy and get some traction skip the track number four now that's a really sad one yeah perception's coming next we about to reach the masses it sounds awesome at the same time it doesn't matter at 27 we'll make millions but it's really sad because you learn to realize that none of this will make you happy jesus he just went through all his albums and then he said millions and he he basically like i feel like he's talking about how he just reached you know, a lot of success with his his craft, and he still isn't happy. That is scary in a way. You know, you would think like you make millions, you make you're successful, you got kids, you got a wife, and you still aren't happy. That is, there's just a deeper type of hurt in you, and that's what he's talking about. He's talking to himself, and. Jesus NF, like take it easy on yourself, bro. You learn to realize that none of this will make you happy. I wish that I could look at you with empathy. Sometimes I feel like I've become what you were scared to be, which makes it really hard to look at you with sympathy. Cause if I'm feeling bad for you, then I have to feel bad for me. And that's just something I feel like we don't deserve. That's why I'm always looking down on you. I know it hurts. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I've been trying to search to find us both some answers. I'll be here for you if things get worse. I said something in the background like just chatter or I, I don't know but dude this one it's about to be over <sighs> man that that one's a that one's that one's more like a poem, I guess. You know, it not really a poem. You know what I mean? Like it's it, it wasn't like a I can't explain it. It, it was just a song that I can't, and it's just a little depressing. Like it, it was very he was very hard on himself. He was you know, but he I get the message. Like he, you know, he he just wishes some things he could have done different and some things you can't expect when you grow up and he's basically just gave us a timeline on, on what's going, you know, what's going on with him in his own head. Like, it's just, that was cool though. I mean, he's talking to himself, of course, it's called Nate, but there's like two versions in that song. I feel like, but it, I, I, I mean, th this is why, you know, this is song is. I guess he got a lot of beef on this on this album. Like he's a one trick pony, dude. No, he's not. He, I mean, this song right here. I mean, you can when you sit there and listen to it, you're like, this. He's telling a story first of all, and he's got a, a pretty decent beat on it, and it sounds cool. And he's just sitting there, gave us a timeline of his life, and and then. It, on the other hand, I got two days. I mean, the two other songs I just listened to. I just wanted to freaking punch somebody right in the neck meat and and just get crazy, you know, hype on it. And, and then I just don't understand how people think this dude is a one trick pony. I just don't understand it. I don't get it. The critics are just there to critic. That they're just it's basically clickbait. It's just I don't know, man. It's just oh, this one was good though, man. Like really, really good. 
I mean, of course, if this is not a song you sit there and want to bang out to, like in the you know in the car, bang out to. I, I worded that wrong. Sorry. Uh, it's not a, you just want to get hype in the car and and you know it's just the one that if you're in your feels you kind of want to listen to it and and you know and I guess you know when people are going through some like some deep stuff you know you listen to this type of stuff and you just realize that it's not only you that's going through it and I think that's why a lot of people love this you know this song in particular like he's got a lot of songs like this because you know always remember you're not the only one that goes through this stuff like when he mentioned the abandonment issues like I had um my my father you know I'm not trying to get all you know in my feels about this but you know my father wasn't there uh, for a whole life like he he banded like he abandoned there was three of us my older brother josh my younger brother jeremy we're all jays and uh he left when we were like i was like five or six and he would come he would come and go I, we called him santa claus because he would come and go you know and uh and i don't you know i can relate to that part of it but when it um but either way i hope you guys enjoyed it um you guys uh just make sure you like it subscribe it share it do all the things to hit the algorithm let's make it hit so we can get more we can get more people coming in hanging out with us commenting on us and then don't forget about the page patreon.com forward slash goody mob hope you guys join the mob all right i hope to see you next one bye